Alrighty, so we're just gonna do a quick little thing. HVAC coastal coating. So if you're super close to the coast, what'll happen is the, just the salt in the air is gonna just deteriorate your HVAC system super, super fast. This stuff right here, it just comes in a can. There's a bunch of different products you can use. This one's by Rector Seal. We already did this one, but you just shake the can up, basically spray paint it. And I mean, you wanna get the coil, you wanna get the coil so we can spray the back. And then, I mean, it's nice to hit. I mean, this whole thing will rust out eventually. So, especially these screws, I like to hit all these screws a little bit. Just hit anything that's gonna rust. A lot of rust happens on the bottom. And really, you, you, you can spray this whole thing. You can't even get, you cannot get enough of this stuff on here. If you're close to the ocean, you're fighting a losing battle. Anyone who like either lives close to the ocean, has a boat, any, is it near the ocean? Like, you know, you're fighting a losing battle. Uh, the ocean will always win, nature wins. So this is just delaying the inevitable. We already know most customers close to the coast aren't gonna maintain their system to the point where it's not gonna rust even if we do this. There are, you can do some coastal coating where you actually ship it to the, you ship it to their plant, they coastal coat it, and then they'll actually warranty against rust for 10 years, but you have to show proof of yearly maintenance. And so if you're not planning on having someone out and having a contractor do your maintenance, every single year, then there's not really a point to doing that. I would say like doing the on-site coastal coating is gonna be more than enough in most cases. And it, it, like I said, it's just delaying the inevitable. This thing is still gonna rust, uh, I'm, but it, this might delay it two or three years. If you actually clean your system, and I would say even reapply the coastal coating, then, then you might get more life out of your system, but yeah, I mean, you just, it's real simple. I mean, I already showed it, but you just spray the whole, whole damn thing. Like, like I'm not like, you, you just spray it everywhere because everything on here is going to rust. And they actually have a whole nother one for coating boards. And I know there's some manufacturers that require boards to have special coating on them if they're within the, a certain distance of the beach. And they, lots of the time they're not that strict on enforcing that kind of stuff, but they can be if they want to. I don't know that I'm really missing anything. Um, hitting the coils good, hitting everything on here. The boards have their own special thing. Uh, we use this one, the Gulf Coast. I really can't say which product is gonna be best at, I mean, we buy it from Johnstone. They have like three products there and there's a bunch of products everywhere. So there's a bunch of coastal coats. Uh, Rector Seal tends to make high quality products, so I like using their stuff. But I can't say that their stuff is going to be much better because, you know, I mean, we'd have to do a pretty involved test, I think, to figure that out. And I, I guess we could try and figure out a way to set up a test if, uh, if this video were to get like 10,000 likes, we'll, we'll figure something out, but that's not going to happen. They also have corrosion grenades. Have you seen those? Yeah, yeah. Do those work? I've installed them, but I've never personally seen what they do. <laughs> They're supposed to like, I know they like attract the corrosion yeah, yeah, yeah. before the copper does. But I don't know if that works either. At the end of the day, if you're close to the ocean and you have an HVAC system, you are fighting a losing battle. You are not going to win. The ocean will win. But you, this helps. And so it's just it, it's essentially just a clear coat. And so you're adding a layer of protection. And some of them aren't even clear. Some of them are like actual like they they paint it basically. So yeah, if, if you've used this, if you're an HVAC oh, and you've used this, leave a comment, tell us how, how it works for you. If you've got other solutions to corrosion and you're close to the ocean, like, I mean, leave a comment. We're, we're interested, our customers are interested. We found that this seems to do a, at least a little bit, but uh, without cleaning the system, I would say uh, almost every six months, you're not gonna beat the ocean. And even at that, you'd have to, you'd have to spray these things. I mean, we've got ocean breezes here every morning, so. It's like th this house, I mean, the water's right there. So the, the water, the breeze will come off the water and they, you, you just won't win. You're not gonna win. Can't beat the ocean. So uh, embrace it, replace your system every five years. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do see uh, some places where I've seen systems, I, I'll, I'll actually upload a picture. Uh, I had a system that I found that was, I mean, we, we see them at like five, six, seven years old and they're just completely deteriorated. So uh, if you don't do anything about it, I mean, if you'd rather just replace your system every five to seven years, that's fine. Uh, but if you wanna take care of it and you know, I mean, not replace every five to seven years, there's a lot more, you, it's a little bit more involved than that. So cool, sweet, red with Surf Bros HVAC, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>
if you have an ocean breeze, even if you're decently far from the ocean, that's really going to be the difference. We see systems that are a couple blocks from the beach, but they have maybe a building that blocks the breeze from hitting the unit. We see systems all the time that aren't deteriorated, but then we see other ones like this one that we, this, this, this is a commercial unit on a roof, so there's not really anything blocking the ocean breeze. It's hitting it right on top of the roof. And this unit is 12 years old, but it's uh, the coil's so fragile that we can't even clean it anymore. So this one is seven years old. It's, it's right on the beach and you see the fins are completely gone on it. The ocean breeze was just hitting it pretty directly and it got replaced. This is a four year old HVAC system right on the beach. There's not really anything that can be done about it. If they, maybe if they would have cleaned it very regularly and this one did not have a coastal coat. This one you can see it has a coastal coat and I think this one was four years old. So yeah, that one's pretty, I mean, the coastal coat did something, but not that much. So if you never, if you just do the coastal coat and don't do anything about it, still not gonna do all that much. This is a 20 something year old system by the beach, right? It's right on the beach. This is a furnace in an indoor closet and this picture was taken in 2022. The furnace is from 2015. So it's a six to seven year old furnace. And in the, you can see all the surface rust. That furnace had a, had a failed gas valve. The whole thing was just completely rusted out. So even being indoors, if you're close enough to the beach, this was like beach side. If you're close enough to the beach, you might even want to coastal coat your system if it, you have a indoor furnace. This one was like 18, 19 years old, right by the beach. And this was in a, yeah, so this was a furnace in an outdoor closet and you see all the rest on there. That one had a failed inducer when I showed up. 